Welcome back to the foundry. In this video's little project, I decided to go ahead and address the generator situation on the oil rig. It's, uh, the generator's making a, a, a weird noise. It sounds like it's fixing to come apart. Uh, the enclosure is, is falling apart. So I'm gonna pull the generator out, see why it's making that noise, try to fix it, and then build a new enclosure. Let's get to it. Let's take a look at this generator and enclosure situation. So this is a 7500 watt and uh, I don't know, it's got a bunch of hours on it. I think it's like 1800 or something. Uh, so the generator has started making a weird noise. Sounds like a heat shield rattling, but I don't know if it's like a sheet metal noise or if it's something more sinister. It almost sounded to me like it was coming from up in here, this area, and uh, I haven't ever been into one, so I don't know what type of coupler it may use, if it uses one at all, I, I really don't know, but I'm going to have to look into that. And uh, to get it uh, to where I can deal with it, i got to get it out of this funky enclosure, because I can't access what I need to. So, I'm going to take this enclosure apart and scrap it and uh, get this generator out and put it over on the workbench so I can crank it up, get all around it and listen and see if I can't figure out where that noise is coming from. If I get that fixed, the next thing will be to build a new enclosure. The enclosure is not really so much to keep the generator out of the weather as it is to act as a sound deadener because this thing is loud. It's probably about 80 decibels. And so you can see what he did. He used this uh, plywood and um, some sheetrock, and it helped out significantly. So I'm thinking about building it. Uh, I've got some tin and some lumber, and I'm thinking maybe I can insulate the inside. And uh, who knows, I might even put uh, an automotive muffler coupled on right there and uh, run the exhaust out the front corner of this trailer and it basically be double muffled and hopefully that would drop the decibels down because when you're back here running the rig uh, you know it just gets old here in that generator especially if you have a helper and you're discussing a procedure or some readouts you can't even hear yourself think with that generator going so I'm going to see what we can do to get this resolved. Well, my forklifts are not easily accessible. So I'm gonna try to use this World War II era bomb hoist that I have got tied up to that beam. And uh, we're just gonna have to see how this goes. See if we can't pinpoint the noise.
felt for once in my life something was easy. All right. Uh, it's hot as can be now, but that right there. Heat shield. My lighting in my shop is terrible. I'm going to do something about that eventually, but uh, it's this old heat shield is cracked. It uh, vibrated so long and it's fatigued. And uh, that's the noise. Go ahead and change this oil while it's easy to get to. Previous owner, <laughs> he, he got tired of messing with it, so he cut a little notch out of the frame to make it really easy. So now that I got the uh, generator squared away, I mean, I still have to weld my exhaust collar. Other than that, it's, it's uh, ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and shift focus to an enclosure. I don't think 10 is going to have quite the sound deadening capability I'm looking for, so I've decided to go back with plywood, very similar to what the previous owner was using. I am doing it a little different. Um, it'll be, you know, newer material and, and very well insulated and I think it will cut back on a lot of the noise you know the operators right on the other side of this box so um, I think with uh, all the noise basically channeled out this way plus the extra muffler uh, it, it should make for some pretty serious noise reduction so I've, I've got some lumber I had some uh, plywood in the warehouse I've got some scrap pieces that are in good shape and I went and I bought some uh, one inch thick foam panel board that is foil lined and I'm going to use that build the enclosure and then um, probably going to paint it to give it a little bit of weather protection and make it look a little bit better and so uh, let's get on that right now now before I forget I want to mention that ventilation is very important for an air cooled generator so the way I'm going to do it is uh, it'll have a, a wall here, a roof over the top, and a wall down there. And this whole side from here down to the end of the trailer is going to be open for airflow. Now, so it'll be, it'll be contained on four sides, or three sides in the top. But uh, I think that's going to be okay because he ran it that way for 1,800 hours and never had a problem. But if, if I get concerned that the generator's getting too hot, I've got room right here to install an electric fan, and that'll take care of it all together. In fact, I may do that. I'll just have to see what I can come up with. together with the scraps I had laying around and you know I think it turned out pretty good plenty good enough um, I used half inch plywood and one inch foam paneling on the inside and uh, it's foil lined so hopefully it'll hold up pretty good and I had some trim pieces that I just kind of used to protect the edges of the plywood and the panel to keep the foam from breaking apart. And I put a uh, door here so when you have to put fuel in it, you can tilt your gas can up high enough. And it turned out pretty good as far as sound deadening. I cranked it up, went to the other side where, you know, where the operator would be and I could tell a pretty big difference over the way it was before. And I think there's enough airflow. I can feel a pretty good bit of air, cold air, coming in this way from the fan on the engine. 
and then on this side there's quite a bit of hot air blowing out over here uh, like I said if I if I start having problems with uh, the generator getting too hot there's plenty of room over there I'm gonna mount a fan but he had it in almost the exact same type of enclosure his was actually a little bit smaller and uh, he put almost 2,000 hours on it without any issues unfortunately the automotive muffler I had was a little too big to fit in here so uh, you know I, I'm gonna go without it to start with because I like I said it's uh, it's a significant improvement the way it is in terms of sound deadening but if I need to I'll get a smaller muffler and mount in there and that'll help it even further also I wanted to make it to where it was easy to get the generator out if I needed to service it and so this top it comes off really easy you just zip out a few screws on the side and uh, the thing just lifts right off so that'll be very handy so overall pretty pleased with this didn't have to buy anything except for the foam panel board and the paint that I used paint the exterior of the plywood that's mainly you know cosmetic and maybe a little bit of uh, uh, weather resistance and because this thing it, it's really going to get filthy once we put it to work so uh, pretty pleased with it we'll see how it works out in the long term and uh, if you were mildly amused by any of this feel free to hit the like button and subscribe because I've got some good stuff coming up we're going to finish getting this rig going and then we're going to put it to work and it'll be very interesting to see how everything goes. So stay tuned. See you next time.